guys, welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here, thank you for joining and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Now I'm going to be testing out some of Fenty's new cream blushers which I'm super excited about. I got this package um, about a week ago um, and it's just been lying down so today I thought maybe I would review some of the amazing products. Now, because I already have makeup on, I'm gonna review as much as possible. I'm gonna pick some maybe five or six of my top favorites, and I'm gonna show you what they look like. Because I know when I'm not shopping for makeup sometimes, I find it very hard to shop online just because I wanna know what it looks like on someone who's black or someone who has my skin tone. So I'm gonna pick the five shades that I think would suit my skin tone um, and are perfect for a woman of colour or black woman and we're going to test them out and I'm going to let you know how I get on so I'm just going to get right into the video. So I'm going to go in in Rosé Latte and um, it's a real nice type of brown colour um, and I'm going to just swatch up my hand so you see exactly what it looks like first. Look at me being a proper YouTuber in a beauty gear. Right, so that's what it looks like on my hand, um, and then this is what it looks like on the palette, looking at it. And I do feel like Rihanna is really smart at making the cream just because you can work with it as an eyeshadow if you wanted to. You can also use it as maybe a lipstick or a lip topper. So I think it's really, really, really smart and really, really creative. And um, so I'm gonna go in using a synthetic brush. Now the reason I'm using a synthetic brush is because I'm going in with cream, so it just makes it easier to work with. It doesn't leave a stain on the brush, and I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm definitely gonna use a synthetic brush. So I am gonna try on my right cheek, and I'm gonna pat it in a little bit, not too much, because I don't know what I'm working with. I'm gonna really for it. First time. I feel like I'm so scared, oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing! Right. Oh! Do you know what? I, I didn't expect myself to actually really like it because I looked at it, I was like, oh my god, it's such a neutral brown, like, is it actually going to pop up? And like, even just looking at it there, it's just so warm and I haven't even blended it in properly, I haven't set it and it's just so beautiful, it gives this like real nice like warmth to your face. And it's just, yeah, I love it, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna clean my brush and I'm going to do the second one. So the second one I'm gonna do is in Cool Berry. And um, so yeah, the one I'm gonna do now is in Cool Berry. And this is what it looks like in the palette. It's a real nice, I wanna say berry-ish, but obviously it's actually called it that, isn't it? So I'm going to swatch up my hand so you can see what it looks like and this is it here, it's a real nice colour. So I'm going to go in with my synthetic brush again, dab it a few times, you would swear I knew what I was doing, honestly. <laughs> I'm going to dab it a few times and then I'm just going to place it on this cheek here because I have I think rose latte on this one still. Um, so I hope you can see. So I'm just gonna dab it here. Does this have a shimmer? I think it does. Oh my god, it, it does. Oh my! Do you know what? I thought I wasn't gonna like these. I'm not gonna lie, because I don't like cream just because I don't know what I'm doing I just feel like it's just gonna look all over the place but with this because it's so like shimmery and it's so nice I feel like I can maybe take it a little bit higher than I would with a regular blush just because it gives me that like highlight effect and it just do you ever see Rihanna sometimes when she has like her like blush up here and it just looks really cool yeah it's just this is so pretty so this is probably my favorite one I'm probably gonna be wearing this all the time this is cool berry and this is the way it looks like on this side and then this is rose latte and that's the way that one looks on that side oh my god 
I didn't think I was going to show it. No, it's so nice. I don't even want to take it off. I literally just want to just be patting my cheeks in. This is so nice. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I really did it. I know it's a really really nice color so I'm gonna put foundation on my cheeks just to kind of get rid of the blush that I already put on so I can actually try on the other colors and I'm really excited because I really didn't think I was gonna like I'm not gonna lie I didn't think I was gonna like any of these colors but they're nice so I'm gonna try and um, I'm gonna put foundation on and then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to try two more so to clean up the blush on my cheeks, in case anyone is wondering, I used NARS in the shade New Caledonia. It's probably like one of my favourite foundations ever to use. Um, and I just added a little bit just to clean up my foundation. Um, and it works, it was really handy. So the next one I am going in with is Summertime Wine. Am I even holding it up right? Yeah. Um, it's in Summertime Wine. It's really, really, really nice um, pink-ish colour pinkish red, pinkish purple, I don't know. But I think it has that like illuminator that Cool Berry kind of had. It has that sheen on it and I feel like that's why I'm gonna really like it. So I'll show you what it looks like on my hand um, before I put it on my face. Well, I don't know. It's, this looks a bit too pink, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really think this one's for me. I don't think this is for me at all. But we will give it a go and we'll see what it looks like because Ideally, yeah. I don't know where I'm going with pink foundation. Like, if my dad ever see, I could just imagine my dad calling me a masquerade. Honest to God, with pink foundation, pink foundation, pink blush. I tend to stick to like the plums and the deep oranges. But we'll see. We will see. You ready? Okay, so we're going to. I'm actually terrified. You know when you try and, because I love Rihanna, I really, really, really love Rihanna and I want to look this for her, but I don't like this, this is not me. I can't see myself ever leaving my house like this, I'm not going to lie to you, like, where am I going? So I had a quick look at my camera just to make sure I was like in focus and everything was going fine and I just noticed that the blush looked really nice on camera. Now I'm telling you now, don't buy it. If you're the same colour as me and the same tone as me, don't get it. Like I, it's not it. Like I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it because don't buy it. If you buy it and you don't like it, I don't wanna hear boop. Don't message me saying, oh my God, you reviewed this product and why did you lie to me? This isn't nice. For a dark skinned woman, no way. But if you are a lighter complexion, 100% yeah. But if you're the same shade as me and Dakar, And um, so the next one, which I'm hoping will be a little bit better, is Drama Class. Um, and here we are. It's a, it looks like it's gonna be a really nice shade of purple. Um, and then again, here it is. I don't think this one has a sheen to it. Maybe they all have a sheen and some have more of a sheen than others. Cause this one doesn't really look like it has one. I'll test it on my hands and see what it looks like. I don't really actually think it has a sheen. So that's the last one I had, but this one here, the purple one, is Drama Class. I don't think it has a sheen to it, but sure, we'll test it out and see. And I'm gonna go again with my blush and test it out on the other cheek. And yeah, we'll see what it looks like. Do you know what? 
you know what? I don't know how I feel about cream blushes just because you need to be so careful with placement. And oh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about cream blushes. This one doesn't seem to come out as much. Like you have to use a lot of, a lot of product, which I don't think is a good thing. Um, am I the only one who smiles with cream blusher? Oh, I like this one. This is a really pretty color. So this is it here. I haven't fully blended it out. But as you can see, it's real warm. It's a real nice kind of subtle bronzer. Not bronzer, I say bronzer, blush. It's really nice compared to this one. And I know you can't see how bad this is on camera, but I'm telling you in person, it's not it. But this one um, in drama class, amazing. It kind of reminds me of the Cool Berry one that I really like, except for it doesn't have that sheen to it. So if you're someone who doesn't really like shine and sheen, and I'd say probably this one would be good. But it does kind of have, it looks like it's kind of nearly reflective in some way. Like, there's a nice undertone to it, like a nice purplish blue undertone. You probably can't see it on camera, but it's really, 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 really pretty in person. And I really, I really like this one. So this is it here and it's in the shade Drama Class. Very, very, very pretty. Now, so far, the only kind of problem I'm seeing, and I'm only testing them out, so I don't know how long, I don't know if they wear properly or what they're like, but just going on first impressions, you need a lot of product to even see like a product on your face, like, which is a bad thing because if you think about it, you're only kind of getting that size of product. I don't know how steep they are either, probably not that steep. Um, so that's the only thing, like they are beautiful, but you do need a lot of product for them to like actually really show. But this is a, I'm not gonna lie, this is a beautiful purple. I hope it really does show on camera. Um, but it's a really, really, really nice purple color. It's not like too bright. Very subtle, nice sheen, shine to it. Um, yeah, so I definitely, 100%, 100% of this one. And it's in drama class. So I'm gonna wipe my cheeks off and I'm going to do the very last two. Nice pink is shade, and I'll show you what it looks like in the palette. So it's a really, really, really nice pink is shade. Um, and I'm gonna turn it on and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna take a bit more product just because the last times I've been taking a little bit and it's just really annoying kind of going back and forth into the palette so i'm going to take a good amount because i know you need like a lot of product for it to actually work so i'll take a good amount and I'll test it out my cheeks are you ready are you ready are you sure okay let's go right so Like, I'm really disappointed because the amount of product I put on and I still have to keep piling is like, I don't really, I don't know what the problem is. I don't know if they're too creamy. Like, this is the amount of product I have in the brush. And I'm still going in and in and in and in and in, and in just to get more color. But it's not like it's even making it better because it even looks horrible. So it's not a nice color. pale like if you're white and you were very pale maybe it could work and um, but as a, anyone of color or of anyone who's black honestly I don't think this is it because I look like a clown <laughs> do you know what this could this could be nice on your lips this could actually maybe maybe Maybe, do you know what? I'm gonna try it on and actually see. It could be maybe nice. I don't know if I 
actually did anything. But if it did, it looks it looks more vibrant. It looks like it has a bit of color. But then again, you have to put a lot of product on, no matter where you place it in your face. So it's made my lips a little bit brighter. I think I'd need maybe a gloss over it and more lip liner. But it's not bad. It's not bad on my lips. But I had to kind of go in to the palette toy. So the last product I have is the Daiquiri Dip. So it's a really nice bright red colour. Hoping it's not as bright as the pink that I tried earlier. Yeah, I'm hoping it's not as bright bright as Bikini Martini. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But these are like some of the top ones that I like from the collection that I think would have been suitable for my skin tone. Now I'm surprised and I'm really, really surprised that Rihanna didn't have like a really like deep orange kind of burnt orange blush just because orange looks fantastic on dark skin women so that would have been nice to see but she did an amazing job regardless um, but I think this kind of looks orange on camera but in person it kind of, if you can maybe see the color of this sticker here the sticker here it looks more the color of this sticker if you have a brush and right at home it is definitely looks like my it's so hard to show you what it looks like um, on camera just because of lighting and stuff because I am filming and it is quite dark I'm not, I am, I'm not using natural light so but it is like a really really like bright red color and um, so I'm gonna test these out the red here and we're just gonna go ahead and stick this on my cheek much I don't, I, I don't. No, I lied. I lied. I was gonna be like maybe if I didn't put that much product on maybe it would have maybe I just I don't know I don't know but I know at the same time like I look crazy I don't know what the camera and what the lighting is making me look like but I can assure you that it's not cute I can say that for free so this is it here it's like a really orange it's not even it kind of looks maybe like an like an orange undertone but still very red maybe I just same time like I look crazy I don't know what the camera and what the lighting is making me look like but I can assure you that it's not cute I can say that for free this is my first impressions of the cheek eyes collection by Fenty Beauty some of them were really nice I think I have I tried I think seven maybe six and um, I think I like at least three or four of them these two I'm not a fan of and um, I think there was what else was there I can't really remember but there was three products that I don't think quite suited my skin tone not saying that they wouldn't suit other skin tones but preferably for me as a black woman I don't think they suit me or maybe I just don't know what I'm doing but that was my first review I think they're amazing products I haven't worn them I'd be interested to see how they sit if you get the right color amazing and um, really like them so I'm looking forward to wearing them and if you've made it this far wow thank you and make sure you like this and make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribing because it's literally free like it's it's literally free so thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next one bye wow you can't really dance what is and it goes like that? And it goes like, uh, uh, uh. do you not know it? No. You're not enjoying it.